Hello and welcome back to the Broken Sword Let's Play and uh, now we're looking to leave the uh, stenches of onions behind us as we leave Paris and we're going over to the good old Emerald Isle uh, home of leprechauns and Guinness and uh, a lot of other cliches like that four leaf clovers that kind of thing Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, hop on the plane. If anything else, it gives us a break from uh, hearing the French accent for a while. I know it's Ireland, but does everything have to be green? Even the bus is green. The Hypnocoin is back. Several hours later, I arrived in Ireland, the Emerald Isle. I've been I lucky said to get that. a bus from Dublin to the tiny village of Loch Marne. On the way out, the driver told me there was only one service a day. Okay, look. So, now we can start exploring. Let's see what's on the menu. The menu was limited. It read, no food today. I didn't care. I'd lost my appetite somewhere over the Irish Sea. I don't know British food. It was a trap door in the sidewalk. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. What's this? A green box. It was a featureless plastic box, firmly attached to the wall of the building. Can we, uh... Metal with it. I tugged at the plastic cover, but it didn't move. That may be some feature. I can't even remember the Irish bit, what happens in the pub. I sort of remember what you have to do with the castle. But I won't go too far into that right Hi now. Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Would it be Patrick by any chance? Let's, uh... I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. <laughs> You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. Uh. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. <laughs> and there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. So far, so cliche. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till Not I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for altar boy of the year. So there's a big bullshiter. Let's, uh, ask Have him. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne, they all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Then. While he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Well, this guy is obviously not been acquainted with the truth. Anytime soon. 
It makes up more stories than bloody Jack and I. Uh, what can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only... What? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. Phantom. That looks doesn't like, like a ghost. It looks more like a sperm. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worst. It was coming from inside the castle. Did you find uh -huh. out what was going on in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on my ass. Waiting There's an English word. Went down. Then out it comes from the shadows. All grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why I fell off the bloody wall. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. So we found out this castle that we're meant to be checking out may be haunted. But then again, this guy ain't the most reliable person in the world to be asking. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. That's right. Can I have it? Sorry. I'm keeping this as evidence. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. See if he's, the killer's been around here. Before? What a slimy character. No, I never seed him. Take a look at this, Maguire. Hmm. It's an ID card. What of it? Ever heard of Thomas Merlin? Or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. What do you think this tool is used for? I'll show you my tool. Lifting drains. Dead right. How did you know that? Work experience course at school. That gives me a choice of going down the drains or up the chimney. You're kidding. <laughs> Again, so far so cliche. But another one who's got it right. Do you recognize this matchbook, Maguire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. Oh, all right. Gotcha. Neat, huh? Didn't feel a thing. Ah, uh, we got someone with it. <laughs> I forgot that you do actually get somebody with that. I know there is a thing later on in the story, but for anyone who hasn't seen it, I'm not going to spill the beans. Uh, shake my hand again. No way. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing. Uh, so that's everything. I can't. Uh, see you later, kid. Okay. See anything else to do? We'll just have a look at him. See what the description says. The lad was doing his best to express his adolescent aggression. His effort was somewhat diminished by the fringe of milk on his lightly feathered upper lip. Now, we can go over there, but I don't think there's anything to do there yet. Uh, it's between the pub. I'm going to the castle. Pub. Castle. 
Uh, come on, I'm an Englishman, you know it's going to be the pub first. Although I'm not really anymore, not really a heavy drinker anymore. Having a kid tends to do that to you. Oh, we got a guy with glasses on. The young red haired guy was plainly nervous about something. Perhaps he felt threatened by the presence of a handsome dude like me. So we got someone who's nervous. There was a vacant look on his cow like face that said quite clearly, nobody home. His elbow rested on an obviously soggy piece of towel. Hmm, so. Everyone's got one of those in a pub. The guy sat in the corner as if he was a permanent fixture. Mm, looks like it'd take a lot of effort to move that uh, belly. Right, and who's uh, Mr. Coffer over here? I'd been taught not to judge people by their appearance or their clothes or the length of their hair. Nobody ever said anything about runny noses. Yeah, maybe we could have that uh, tissue that we've got. Alright, so we've got a phone, so we could phone somebody, we could phone a call up, if needs be. It was an electric glass washer. It looked even older than the barman. Oh, we got a barman there. The white whiskers on the bartender's flushed face were like garlands on a Christmas tree. The resemblance ended there. The top of his head was too slick and shiny to act as a perch for a Christmas angel. Well, the first place you go in a bar is a barman. So, we'll go over to the landlord first there. Eh? Top of the morning to you. I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? Uh, we'll say yeah, it might help us out a bit. It's not a bad idea. Do you have a vacancy? I could. If you don't mind waiting until the last guest checks out. No problem. When will that be? When the undertaker comes to collect him. Okay, don't. That sounds like a fun place to stay. We've already had a uh, fatality. Yeah. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and warm with bits in, and it makes you fall over. Yep, that's basically a summary of what beer does. Yeah, well, we've got a pan there. Let's ask him about the castle anyway. What can you tell me about the castle? You're the second person to ask me that today. I don't know anything about the castle. It's only an old drone anyway. Who else was asking about the castle? He said he was a reporter. He was asking about the little people. Little people? I could have told him a tale or two about the little people. He might have paid me to hear what he wanted me to say. Anyway. I chucked him out on his arse. Good for you, Mick. That's the way to deal with journalists. Okay, the little people. What? Dwarves? Or uh, leprechauns? Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first today. Hey, -o. Seriously, I'm looking for a man dressed in a clown costume. Or would he be having a little white dog with a black patch over the eye? I shouldn't think so. Okay, no. Right, let's um, ask him about the things on our person. Cause this guy doesn't like as much help at all. Does this false nose mean anything to you? It's not Red Nose Day again, is it? Uh, I don't know. But this is part of a clown's costume. <laughs> Red Nose I Day, know. that's... Uh... Good God almighty, what do you take me for? <laughs> Red Nose Day, that's for more of an English... That's an English thing. It's like a uh, charity day, if anybody doesn't know. Man? No, 
I don't want. Oh, what do you want with him? I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, mister. If it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth club. According to Mahoney, it develops character. Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? Doyle. Sorry, Michael. I was miles away. What did you say? Ah, never mind. <laughs> That's your case. Maybe not so much as developing character as uh, developing a brain image. Do you recognize the name on this card? No. Should I? Nah, it was a long shot. Here's something which might interest you. Huh? Well, what is it? My passport to the sewers of Paris. Is that so? Did you see the snow card last night, Mr. O'Brien? We haven't got a television maker. I know what? that. What? Um, why is it, if you don't mind me asking? If God had meant us to watch television, we'd all be like doing it. I take it no one wants to hear about my underground escapades. I'd rather drink me own beer. That's a hell of an advertisement. Do you recognize this matchbook? No, sir. Hey, bartender? A landlord, if you don't mind. Sorry. Shake my hand, why don't you? Now, why should I do that? What have you got up your sleeve? Nothing. Come on, just shake my hand. Oh, not just now, mister. I have to be careful on account of the health restrictions. Oh, jeez. Does this tissue mean anything to you? That's disgusting. Uh-huh. I found it in the sewers. Well, what's the idea of waving it around in my face? You're worse than old Ron. Put it away, man. So, we haven't learned anything from uh, Thanks. that guy. Let's try uh, Hi, the moron I'm over here. George Stobar. <laughs> Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Let's ask him about the castle. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should no, gather that. Here. He just joined up writing. <laughs> you one of them history fellows yourself. Oh, no. I'm here on vacation. What's that? A vacation part. It's what the Americans call a holiday. Oh, right. In Loch Marne? You come to Loch Marne for a holiday? Sure. It's a very pretty place. Where the hell are you from, mister? California. I know it. That's where the Bruins come from. <laughs> yeah. Amongst other things. I don't know. I think there'll be anyone else interested from this guy, but what does this from out as well. Nose mean to you? Uh, no, Prod him a bit more. A no, not me. Ah, you're a good one, aren't you? Did you hear that, Michael? I hate clowns. <laughs> Listen to this fella. I hate clowns, says he. Isn't he just the funniest man you ever did see, Michael? He's not a clown, Doyle. He's not even remotely funny. Thanks. Uh, this guy sort of reminds me of uh, Father Dougal, actually, off uh, Father Ted. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? Don't be fooled. This is the face of a psychopathic killer. No. Well, there's one in the eye for me and my men. Does this security pass mean anything to you? Uh... Oh, that was uh, worth what waiting do you for. Think of this tool? It's for lifting manhole covers. That's right. Hey, I, uh, you've got three people now. Paris. Well, you look at that. A French sewer key. Marvellous. Oh, so I'm going to have to count how many people no. get that one right. <laughs> say what it actually is. Your hand. No, you can't. Well, how come? Because I'll spill me beer if you do. Does this tissue mean anything to you? No. But you should show that to my granny. She could tell you fortune from it. From a soiled tissue? Sure. Some people read tea leaves. My granny reads handkerchiefs. 
Hmm. Better than most papers, though. Right, let's uh, ask. Enough. Let's go for uh, the comfortably round fellow in the corner Hello. over here. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien. Uh, can I help you? He sounds a bit more intelligent. Let's uh, see if he knows anything. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Now, there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug uh, yeah. by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram, the same man who dug up the gem. Let's ask him about the castle first. The castle? We'll get that one out of the way. Well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare say you'll find a way if you've the will. Oh. That's uh, got rid of the uh, ghost question you as well. I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. No. Is he dead? Yeah. Not that. But he's gone from the village. A soft point with our esteemed host, I might add. Do you know where Pegram has gone? No. I'm sorry, but I don't. Yeah. He'll anchor in the dark. Be quiet, you're in the corner. Out before the dawn. Why did he do that? Who yeah. knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lachman. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to normal. So, a gem? What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now, there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Oh no. Thank the Lord for that. No. Oh, they're very trusting. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest, that's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bill. Poor Michael's seen no. red over the business, and I don't blame him. Can you tell me more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would be sophisticate. The trouble is. His idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. No, that does seem to be a luxury. Never out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in Braille. Well, uh, again, he's given a little bit of information. Does this red nose suggest anything to you? No. It's a clown's nose, isn't it? I haven't been to a circus since I was ten years old. O'Donnelly and I walked all the way to Ballymore, fifteen miles in our bare feet. Buy some shoes then. No, we didn't need to know his last story. Recognize the man in this photograph? No. Nope. I've never seen him before. What can you tell me about this ID pass? Gruber Electronics. I've never heard of it. No. Does this tool mean anything to you? I'd say it was for lifting manhole covers. How come you know that? No. I'm a man of the world, Mr. Stobart. So that's four now. But then again, he could have known that because he was sitting right next to the other guy. Does this it. matchbook mean anything to you? The design is Middle Eastern, I'd say. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Mr. O'Brien. I'd rather not. You see, no. I happen to notice that no. vibrating buzzer in your palm. Drat. What do you make of this tissue? Oh, I'd guess that muck on it is grease paint. There's no fooling you, Mr. O'Brien. There you go, that guy knows I knew quite a bit about the items we have. Shame there's nothing useful. Well, uh, do I ask the crusty old guy or Ginger? Crusty, Ginger. It looks a bit like a proclaimer, so I'll go and talk to the proclaimer first. Luckily, we don't have to walk 500 miles. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. He's got a lisp. What can you tell me about the castle? There's nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. 
Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't mm -hmm. go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. That was a bit sudden. Do you know Professor Pegram? You're looking shifty. Eh? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. You yeah. know something, Mister? Where can I find Professor Pegram? I heard he's gone fishing. I don't know where. Fishing? Did like you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Have you heard about the gem which Pegram found? I heard a rumor. But you can't believe everything you hear or see, can you? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm untabbed some nerves. More than a pint, and I'll pass out. This guy is very nervous. So this, he. What did this red nose suggest to you? Blood. Why is that? I used to bleed a lot when I was a kid. Every time there was a playground scrap, I'd end up with a bloody nose. I wouldn't have minded, but I wasn't even involved in the scraps. Oh, Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Uh, no. Uh, at least I don't think so. Look closely. He has a scar on his face. No, I'm sure I don't know him. Check out this pass. Yeah, it's yours, is it? Not exactly. Do you recognize the name? Thomas Merlin. No, never heard of him. What do you think this tool is used for? Uh, something to do with horses? Wrong. It's for opening manhole covers. That'd be a oh, poor horse really? that had to do with that. Well, you learn something every day. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't seem to fool anyone. It looks like he's had experience in being uh, tricked. Nothing. Yeah, so there's something fishy about him, but we're gonna have to find some way to get it out of him, some leverage. No, there's nothing on the bar. Oh, here we go. What's this? The end of the bar was hinged, like the drawbridge on a medieval castle. Oh, we can drink our beer as well. Hey, where do you think you're going? Excuse me? No customers behind the bar. Ever. Stay away from behind the bar. The glass contained a dark liquid like molasses with a creamy white froth on the top. That there be Guinness. Drink it, come on, down it. The glass was empty. Yeah. You can ask him for another beer, but there's not much point just yet. Hi there, old timer. No, what do you mean, no? What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. All right. Come on. prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police? No. I'd know it if you were. Okay, this guy's a bit, uh... Can I buy you a beer? Grumpy, Very should kind, we say? I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. <laughs> can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. Oh, kid outside so we've heard. But I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. 
You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Oh, it's sounding creepy. Are you Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. Do you know where I can find Pegram? I told you, I never heard of him. So this guy isn't going to be helpful. Were you aware that Pegram was conducting an archaeological dig? I don't meddle in other people's affairs. They don't interest me. Yeah, uh, let's find out about the ghost. To be sure, with me very own eyes. Ah, uh, to be sure. Let's Can see. you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak, straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Marl? That'll be the day. Oh, that's no, it. that was a ghost, to be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmarn. Oh. oh! There you go, that sorted that out. There's no ghost. What does this red nose mean to you? I suppose you're collecting for charity. No, I'm not. I want to know if you've seen someone wearing a nose like this. No, I haven't. So, it's so one mystery, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> Do you recognize right. the man in this photograph? Is that supposed to be you? No, I don't have a scar on my face and I'm not from the Middle East. I can't tell without me glasses. <laughs> this guy's going to be a lot of help, card. I can tell. Take a look. Oh, yes. Little plastic picture. I don't suppose it means anything to you, does it? No. Can you identify this tool? No. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh, no, on second thought, forget it. Oh, I wanted to shock this guy. Careful. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. <laughs> As regards to sneezing into your own glass. Oh, well, my friend. See you later. I'll leave you to drinking your own snot. And I don't know, I think enough time's probably progressed. I don't want to make these videos overly long, like I usually say. So I think I'll leave this one at that. And we'll go and uh, explore the castle next, if we can't find anything else out here. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Any useful feedback would be most appreciated as well and thank you to anyone who does leave any feedback. Anyway, that's all I've got time for this time. So I'll see you guys later.